Welcome to another video. We all know the importance of technical indicators for trading, such as MACD, EMA, etc. But there is one technical indicator you must know and you rarely pay attention to, which is volume. In this video, I will show you how to use volume to improve your trading winning rate. And this technique could be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto trading cause price action stays relatively consistent across different assets. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. Let's get into today's video. What is volume? Volume is the total quantity of shares or contracts traded for a specified security. It can be measured on any type of security traded during a trading day. If the trading volume of a stock is high, it means the stock is gaining great market attention and can attract more capital inflows. Capital inflows will push the stock higher. Based on above, we can say that trading volume is a key stock price driver. So how do we look volume on TradingView? On the trading view, the volume is represented by vertical bars and the height of the bar represents the amount of volume. When we have tall bars, for example right here, that means we have a lot of volume. And when we have small bars, for example right here, that means we have relatively low volume. To see the exact amount of volume, you can hover over a specific candle. For example, you can see this day right here. Apple had a volume of around 113.453 million, while the previous day had a volume at around 81.235 million. The color of the volume bar will be the same color as the candle. So if we have a green candle meaning that the price have increased during the day, we will have a green volume bar. And if we have a red candle meaning that the price have decreased during the day, we will have a red volume bar. When we have a green day, you can think about the volume as how many buyers are supporting the move. Or in other words, you can think about it as buying interest. However, when we have a red day, you can think about the volume as how many sellers are supporting the move or another way to think about it is selling interest. Now that we know the basic principles of volume, how can we use it to improve our trading winning rate? Let's start with trend. Here is a daily time frame on USDJPY. As you can see, here we have an impulsive move. Then we had a pullback which is a move against the direction of the trend. Then we have a next impulsive move. In this chart, you can actually use volume to determine the strength of the trend. Is this a strong trend or is this a weak trend? In the uptrend, for example, see right here, you want to see an increase in volume. And you can see, when the price went up right here, we saw a strong increase in volume. When you have an uptrend and the price is pulling back, you can see the volume bars got smaller and smaller and the volume decrease. Then when the next impulsive move to the upside started here, you can see that the volume slowly started to increase once again. This is exactly what you are looking out for in healthy uptrend. During the up moves, you want to see lots of volume. During the pullbacks, you want to see decreasing volume. The exact principles can be used in downtrends. Now we know how to use volume to trade in trend. Then we should learn how to use volume to find better reversals. What you always have to have in mind when finding reversals based on volume is the principle that the more volume we have, the more significant the move will be. For example, we have a small uptrend right here. You can see we had impulsive move, pullback, impulsive move, pullback. But what you can see is that, during this red candle, we saw a very strong spike in volume. That means many sellers supported the move. What you also can see with this particular candle, it was a candle with very long wick and short body. It was nearly a bearish shooting star. And the bearish shooting star indicates a potential reversal to the downside big volume bar and bearish shooting star, it means many traders are agreeing that this is a valid bearish pattern. It increases the likelihood of an eventual reversal to the downside. In this example, after this red candle, the uptrend did not transform right to a downtrend. But green bars got smaller and smaller which meant buying interest got weak. 
it still predicted the end of the uptrend. So these are the strategies about how to use volume to trade in trend and reversal. But there's still two rarely known strategies about volume. In next video, I will tell you more strategies about it. Be sure to subscribe my channel and don't miss it.